Life on a ship is seldom idle, but often tedious. Long hours on watch, staring at long stretches of unbroken open ocean, sanding and painting blank bulkheads, sweeping and swabbing decks, shoveling coal or lubing and oiling machinery, it can often be a tiresome affair. So what raises the spirits or lifts the soul? A spot of singing or whistling can always do the spirit good. But you might want to rethink that before you start whistling up a tune, because whistling is bad luck on a ship. For centuries, sailors have been lauded by their bosuns, mates, and masters for whistling a tune while bored and working. Told things like, you'll whistle up a storm. It was a common belief that whistling challenges the sea. A sailor whistling is just begging to summon a storm. Neptune seeing it as tempting fate or trying to be a bigger blowhard than him. It raises the question if sailors would whistle while in the doldrums to try and summon up a bit of wind to get them out of it. But there may have just been a practical aspect to this superstition. Life on a ship is ordered chaos. It's often loud and confusing. One way that orders were given was the bosun's pipe or bosun's whistle. The device emitted a loud, shrill chirp or trill that could easily be heard over the winds. Sailors were trained to follow orders from the whistle. So it wouldn't do to have the foremast jack whistling away, getting his shipmates confused with random whistling. So the superstition was spread to discourage such a thing. Another reason could be just as likely and far more nefarious. It's the early hours of the 28th of April, 1789. A master's mate aboard a ship sounds a shrill whistle, signaling the men aboard to launch a surprise attack, seizing the master and his warrant officers. This man was named Fletcher Christensen. The ship he was aboard was the HMS Bounty. HMS Bounty had departed England on the 15th of October, 1787, departing England to collect breadfruit from Tahiti. But a five-month stay in Tahiti caused loosening discipline in the crew, and things boiled over after harsh treatment from the ship's captain, Captain William Bly, led to a mutiny. A mutiny that was largely believed to be signaled by a whistle from Fletcher Christensen. Whether this was true or not didn't much matter. From that point on, to discourage any more covert communication, the Royal Navy banned whistling, perhaps spreading the superstition that it was bad luck to do so, in the hopes of discouraging more malicious mutineers. So will whistling on a ship cause Neptune to start a bit of a competition? Will blowing a tune signal a mutiny on board your boat? Will singing your favorite song come across as an order? Probably not, but better safe than sorry. Have you heard this superstition before? Have you seen any bad luck come from whistling a tune? Let me know in the comments and stay tuned for more superstitions from the Superstitious Sailor. Fair winds and following seas, shipmates. So I know it's been a while since I've had an upload, so for folks that don't know, I'm currently working on a ship and that takes up a lot of my time. But just to let you know, I'm still working on projects. I have a big one coming up that I want to be done by the end of the year. and. Once the shipping season is completed in the region that I'm doing, I'm planning on working on a lot more videos. So thank you to all my viewers. Thank you to the patrons. Uh, you guys are awesome for sticking with me. And I hope to have more videos out soon. So fair winds and following seas, shipmates.